All right, let's talk about why the decision to rebase uh, the GDP and what it's going to reflect, what we're going to see as the new drivers of growth in Nigeria. Well, yes, uh, you might know that uh, constant price estimates uh, use the price relatives of the particular year to weigh together the volume components. It's a, a matter of fact that uh, structural changes take place in production structure in any economy over a period of time. Uh, also, structural changes do take place in relative prices of various products in the economy over, the period, over a period of time. And the development and innovations of new products appear in the market. So each case here gives a different perspective resulting from those mm. weights. Hence, con uh, countries update uh, their base here periodically. Um, therefore, to present consistent time series, the old series is required to be linked to the series based on the new base year, right. resulting in a set of chain linked time series. Let me challenge you a little bit there, Yemi. We're told that with the rebasing, the figure as to the value of the Nigerian economy will be in the region of $247 billion, maybe 250 Some would argue that that figure is already known. It's been bandied about over the last three years. This would just be mere confirmation of what people already know. So what's new then? Well, with, the, um, with regard to the estimated size of the economy post-rebasing, we have not yet determined uh, that that figure, so I can't really comment on on that. But um, what I can say anyway is that I don't actually agree that 246 billion has been banned there. I think that actually what is currently the uh, GDP figure. I don't know how the estimates you are, you are, mm. you are using came, came about. I expect that it's going to be significantly above uh, 248 billion, as you do. What, what, what you? I think, Yemi. Um, I, I think currently in Nigeria. I think, Yemi, what's going to be new? What information is going to be new? Well, let me put it this way. In the, currently, we're using, uh, this year is 1990. Now, between 1990 and currently, there's been a massive change in the structure of the Nigerian economy. Um, we have returned to democratic rule for over 13 years now. We've had three presidents, about four and four different administrations. There's the telecoms revolution. There's a banking sector consolidation. There's huge inflows of foreign direct investment since 1999 when we returned to uh, democratic, including portfolio investment, increases in disposable income, uh, even in the uh, capital income that's risen by almost 300% between, that, between 1990 and currently. And bringing, of course, with that increases in the consumer spending and, mm. and in the pattern of, 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 uh, okay. of spending. So if you take all these things into consideration, you expect that this, because even the entertainment industry has grown substantially since then. There's an increase in attention to tourism. Uh, there's a lot of more construction work going on, building, build, building and construction, shooting up real estate, shooting up. Now when you take all that into consideration, and using a base here of 1990, uh, almost 23 years ago, I think it is fair to assume that a, a lot has changed as far as right. the structure of the economy is concerned, and you expect a huge increase when the uh, GDP is revised. Okay, now we do know that agriculture is now a major driver of growth at 40%, so the rebasing will reflect that. But telecoms as well, we don't really know the value of telecoms to this economy. Do you have a sense of what it is? Well, the telecom sector has been growing significantly in the last few years. It, uh, it started at a point where it was uh, contributing less than... Um, 1% of the Nigerian economy currently has grown in the last four or five years to about 5% currently. Um, recently, our latest survey showed that just only 63% of Nigerians had access to, uh, to mobile phones, for example. And uh, even with that, only about 40% actually owned the devices. So you can see there's a huge scope in Nigeria's 160 million our uh, uh, young population. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the telecom penetration is still very, very low. There's a, a huge scope for growth. Mm -hmm. um, so you can imagine the, the impact that's going to have in the, in, the, in the country over the next few years. What it's definitely play a major role. What about the oil sector, Yemi? We do know that uh, you're the eighth largest producer of the world over Nigeria. The oil sector accounts for over 95% of foreign exchange earnings. And to a large extent, higher oil prices is what high GDP figures have been predicated on. How is that going to be reflected? Because some would argue good GDP figures for Nigeria reflects good production on the oil side. Well, not necessarily. In the last 10 years, the growth in Nigeria 
Nigerian economy has been driven by the non oil sector. In fact, the oil sector has hardly grown at all. It's very, very, relatively speaking, it has been very, very slow relative, relative to the uh, non oil sector. Actually, most of the growth in Nigeria in the last 10 years has been in the non oil sector.